I actually got stuck on this stage when I was younger when I first played this game. Uh, why is that? Because I would go over here and I'd be like, oh, I gotta go down this way. But no, there's a ladder up here. Ah, I see. But we are gonna go this way. Oops. We'll come back for him. See, you run out of stamina. No, let go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do nothing. There. Ninja, you can throw shurikens, you can slash with them. There's a grab. You can do a grab when the game feels like it. Triangle kick. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, Ooh, a wizard. Here. Ninja. At least I don't think that I can hit all the way back through there. And the reason this stage has a little nublet is because it has a secret area attached to it. I do like how they made sure to let you know the names of all the little helpers in this one. Instead of just saying ninja, it says Bile Spark for your character. They kept that in a lot of the games too. Of oh, the ones after, I mean. So you know what the character's names are for the Kirby Extended Universe. You can wall jump with the bio spark. Yep. Again, one of those things that, like you mentioned, like there's a bunch of little details of stuff they didn't have to do, but they just did it anyway. Mm. Also, if you get hit and then you push a button right afterwards, you'll vanish for a few seconds. Mm. Or the wheel. I'll take mirror. Ooh, cool. No, you're gonna take wheel because you no. have. Because this is unique. I'm your mount. We're gonna get spiked. Nope, okay. And you can't do this star shooting stuff in single player. You have to be on a, a second player controlling wheelie in order to do it. Hmm. Like, there's these little switches that you can only hit if you have hammer. Yeah. A big so. one that came up a lot in Amazing Mirror was fuses that you needed either the laser or a firepower to ignite. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the you have to have a certain power in order to progress thing because uh, it gives more weight to the abilities rather than just being a moveset. Just about as close as this game gets to puzzles. Look, an E. Does that fill up one of our energy tanks? Oh, it makes us fight Iron Man. That attack uses up the hammer ability. Oh, hey, hammer. Let's see, I want this one. Any abilities that you want over here? Uh, actually, yeah. Well, I pose dramatically.
Some abilities are just ridiculously broken in this game, like Plasma and Yo-Yo are two that are just really strong compared to other ones. Hmm. I just rotate the D-pad a couple times and I just get an attack that just destroys most stuff. I don't think we need that one up because we're already sitting on 14. Yeah. We're probably I. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm on fire. <laughs> well, now you're on green fire. Ooh. This looks pretty cool. Just let the game play itself a little bit. Potato roll. Yo-Yo, which is an Earthbound reference. Because it was both made by Hal. Hmm. I didn't think about that. I've recently finished Earthbound for the first time. What'd you think of it? Oh, that's pretty great. Because you notice that the background of the yo-yo is the uh, naming screens. Hmm. And whenever you first fire up the game. Damn it, stop freezing me. They actually nerfed yo-yo in the DS re-release. Oh? How'd they do that? Because when I do this attack, you notice that it has little stars flying around me. Mm -hmm. yeah, Those are a lot smaller. Ah. Uh, There's so a throw. You don't got as much free range out of it. Why do you need to climb? You just fly around. I kind of wish Suplex gave you a luchador mask instead of uh, another bandana. Oh, Kerbo. <laughs> Zero! You did it! <coughs> well, getting zero is just as hard as getting a hundred. I really love the attack from this one that where you just if I can just cha cha on whatever enemy you have. No, don't go down. It's also funny when you don't actually get anyone because you just kinda of fumble around for a couple seconds. Try to regain your balance. You need a hammer. So you can't grab certain enemies, so you just kind of have to drop kick them a little bit. You want that one? Yes. Oh good, now I have the ability to fly. Ah, uh, there's that classic fuse problem. Yeah, they, they uh, do that with some things in um, the other ones as well, like um, 
There was a Cupid power in a later one that gave you a little set of wings mm -hmm. that lets you fly around. I actually kind of liked that one though because it also gives you a bow. And when you fully charge it, you do a triple shot. I know uh, Crystal Shards for the N64 had a lot of uh, uh, just straight up barriers where you had to have a certain ability. And since you had combination uh, abilities in that one, it would also sometimes just be tiled with two different colors and you just had to have that ability in order to progress. Mm. Yeah, that one uh, was pretty neat because it was the first one where you could combine powers. Has there been any other ones where you can combine powers like that? Squeak Squad. Oh, uh, Squeak Squad. On the DS is the only other one that I know of. I kind of wish it was more of a series staple, to be honest. Squeak Squad, the start of the whole, uh, someone stole Kirby's food and so he gets revenge kind of plot. I thought that was the very first one. Well, it was everyone's food that was getting stolen there. Oh, okay. So I'm it makes a little bit more sense. But with later ones, it's just like, my cake. Give me back my cake. Well, he died again fast. See, look, he has his whole ass out. Yeah, he do. Well, in the, uh, the more recent Kirby games, you also get a mech, so, you know. Oh yeah, Planet Robo Bobo Bobo Bobo. Mm-hmm. It's actually really fun. Planet Robo Bot. I know it has a really good soundtrack. There's a throw. This guy's run cycle is something. Very 80s. Well, what would you expect for someone named Burning Leo? Alright. Excuse me, not Burning Leo, Burnin' Leo. <laughs> whole lives. Yes. Capsule J, which ended up getting changed completely in the 3DS one. Hmm. Not his abilities, but the way he looks, because here he's a... Diver? No, he's a reference to a specific character, a Shinla character. I think his name is Twinby? Hmm. But he ended up becoming Capsule J2 in the remake. And the backgrounds kind of remind me of Yoshi's Wooly World because they couldn't look like they're made out of velvet. Hmm. Or felt or something like that. I thought you were going to say uh, Yoshi's Story. Because everything kind of looks like pop-up-y. There they had more of a crayon aesthetic and they were specifically doing it because uh, I think it was Miyamoto who was getting pressured into trying to adopt more 3D looks since it was new at the time. This fancy new d thing called depth. All the kids are into it. What a great death animation. It sure was. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The Cyclopean children. Let's just get rid of this problem right off the cliff. Oh, okay. I mean, if he just left, the problem would solve itself eventually. I'm not sure that birds like apples. Trying. To be continued in the same game. <laughs> 